Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, or morning or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. My name is Zeus, and we have some TF2, but first, but first, but first, I want to tell you a story. Like a week before exams, me and a few friends went to the park, and being the 18-year-old boys that we are, we decided to mess about. So we found this beam, and we decided we're going to have two guys on there, we're going to fight, and you have to push each other. You had the crowd ready, and it obviously it started with a straight pushing some slapping and then things got a bit more violent people started kicking people brought chairs and then people were using like Kamehameha but no, no no but the most important and funniest thing was this guy and in super slow-mo he just decided to jump like that causing the other guy to just fly off that was beautiful you just had to be there <laughs> okay back to the gameplay that was uh, endorphin by natural motion so if you guys want to check out that software you can it's just a physics simulator they use the the more advanced ones I think there's euphoria and morpheme morphine or morpheme something like that and they used I know THQ have used it for like backbreaker and I think for the wrestling games maybe the wrestling games but I know Red Dead and Grand Theft Auto have used uh, those sorts of engines so they are pretty good I am playing the soldier on the orange map I believe. I've been on the server a few times uh, I just really like this map and I tend to do really well either because everyone else is bad and new or just soldiers overpowered on this map. I'm using the black box and I'm rocket jumping just everywhere. I'm using the gunboats as well so I don't take much damage. Spy behind me, he gets taken care of and I'm using the equalizer which is pretty OP but I can definitely see the reason like this just run away it's pretty cool. If for those of you who don't know the equalizer, the more damage you take, or well, not da damage, but the lower your health, the faster you run, the more damage you actually do with it. I mean, with the rocket jumping, you can just get straight up onto the top, take out people that are on there. More rocket jumping. This is the enemy spawn. There was no one there, so I decided to have a look around, see what I can find. And this is where I get stupidly lucky because I'm just so surprised I didn't die here. I managed to take out the demo. But I really don't know how I just didn't die. Decided to go back because, well, why not? And this guy annoyed me so much. So I'm standing there, 58 health. Obviously, the heavy's not doing anything. So I'm just like, medic, medic. And this guy just wouldn't heal me. In the end, when the heavy dies, he starts to heal me. By this time, I've run out of ammo. Then he decides to crit me, and that was just a massive fail. Get rid of the pyro. I decide to go around with the three rockets I have left. The only other weapon I have is the equalizer. And now when you have the equalizer, you can't be healed. So that kind of was a massive failure. I'm sorry to the medic because I couldn't really do much. But it's your fault for not healing me. <laughs> this is pretty funny. I jump up really high here. Somehow, again, stick the landing, see the dispenser, going for the for the health, and aww, oh, backstab. So typical, isn't it? Always happens. You go for the health, and then BAM, spy. Some more rocket jumping, this is a very good technique, just jumping over, taking out the medic. If you ever see, like, a medic heavy, remember, always go for the medic first. The heavy is nothing without the medic. If Even if he takes you out, it doesn't matter, someone else will. But... A more example of how OP the or overpowered the equalizer is. You just run up there. That was Ari there using the Huntsman, some Neon Cat. Ari has been messing about with the Huntsman pretty recently, and so there might be more videos on that. With the black box, the black box is just you just gain health every time you hit something. So there have been so many times where I just thought I should be dead right now, but it's just no because I have the black box. I mean, fair enough. Having that fourth rocket cat would be very nice. That was pretty cool. I would, as soon as I did that, I just wondered, what must that have been like on the other side? Just trying to snipe someone, and bam, soldier across the screen and kills you. That must have been so scary. So I apologize to you. If that was you, I'm sorry. You should have stood there. <laughs> now at this point, I was just rocket jumping around, just trying to see if I can land more damage. Just try and take people out. Obviously, the sentries were there. I somehow don't die there. I don't know what happened there, but sentries didn't manage to get me. So I just went round, 
healed up with the dispenser and just try to carry on. At that point, just try and deal as much damage as you can, try and get as much damage so that everyone else can then try and take him out. The engineers we had on our team were very good, they were very quick at setting up teleporters as soon as we moved up points. So please, if you do play engineer, try and be very quick as soon as like we capture the point. If everyone's trying to move forward, move your stuff forward because the only way people will stay forward is with your help. Engineers play a massive role and I'd say almost, if not as big a role as the medics just because they help so much. And that medic went flying, that was hilarious. This is the fourth point and just trying to clear it because they're trying to cap it back. Rocket jump back up, try and take it out. With rocket jumping, the best thing to do is, and the one thing people don't realize is that if you hold down W while you're rocket jumping, you won't be able to turn. Now, the main way to turn is you let go of W, and say if you want to go left, you hold down A and then move your mouse to the left, like just there. At that point, the market had taken so much damage from me that I knew I was going to die anyway, so I just thought I'd go for it. Now, if you turn very slowly with your mouse you will go a lot further than just going straight so that's a very good technique. there was a very good video that I found I will link to it this bit was hilarious I mean that that sort of just went flying he tried to rocky jump I managed to get him as well that was just funny so yeah even more rocky jumping it can be a very good technique if you're a soldier it's a very uh, it's a make or break for a good soldier um, Scout is my favorite class, but second would definitely beat the soldier just because of rocket jumping is so much fun. So the spy right there, call it out straight away. I don't actually know if I managed to get him, but that soldier right there, I have to credit, I have to give him credit because he just loved to rocket jump as much as I did. It was just like he'd fire one at someone and then rocket jump and fire another and rocket jump. He was brilliant. And I think he gets me right after this. Now this gameplay is coming up near the end, so. I've been Zeus, thank you for watching, and I shall leave you with the most epic faceplant you have ever seen right after taking out a spy and a scout. See you guys.